a, a bid to convert a Chinese restaurant into a sex club uh, near a police station and ancient Roman remains has been refused. The Solo Summer sex entertainment venue had had been given permission. My sports sports. Why the fuck is a, bit, a convert a Chinese restaurant into a sex club? What they should have done is just kept it as a Chinese restaurant and just add sex there as well. You could do both, couldn't you? You could like, you could just like have your Chinese food, and then who's to say it isn't your fault that everybody just got frisky after food? You can just say this food is aphrodisiac. I'll tell you what, they ate the chow mein, next thing you know, they were like, you know, banging all over the table. It become like, you know, signature dish, chicken chow bang, <laughs> or whatever the fuck. You know, when I, the chow mein on, on the noodles and they're both sucked, they end up on two, two people on each end like that until they come close. Your wife and my wife. That's what it would get like. So um, I think they should have kept it. They could have like been. They could have had pole dancers tucking prawn crackers into the underwear, have like write dollar signs on the prawn crackers and tuck them into the underwear. That could have been all sorts. There could have been. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of uh, Chinese food that could be, could be sexual. Uh, what about? Um, dick some. Um, that's a shit one. I can't think of Chinese food now, haven't it? Not for fucking ages. Bollocks, can't think of any. You, you get it, you you think of some. Tits, <laughs> Chinese, uh, um, bollocks. What's it? Chop suey. What's that one? Chop, chop suey, forget it. I've, I've failed, I've failed to create any more uh, Chinese porn names. Maybe uh, you can think of some. I'll think of some as soon as I fucking finish this podcast.